Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to find the different performance metrics like accuracy, precision, recall and so on given the confusion matrix. In this case, we have been given a confusion matrix with uh, 150 predictions. Out of 150 predictions, uh, there are 100 examples uh, where class, uh, classified or predicted as uh, yes in this case and 50 examples were predicted as no in this particular case and out of 100 150 examples there are totally 50 examples are of type no and 100 examples are of type yes over here now given this particular data we need to find the different uh, performance uh, metrics of this particular classifier so first we will try to give some names to each of these particular numbers now if you look at this particular 45 this 45 examples are of type uh, no actually when they were uh, predicted as no here so that is the reason you can say that it is a true negative in this case and coming back to this particular 5 these 5 examples are actually of type no but predicted as yes over here so you can say that these are false positive actually now coming back to this one this particular 5 are actually of S type but predicted as no here the meaning is it is false negative and these particular 95 examples are of type S yes, and they were predicted as yes over here so you can say that it is a true positive in this case so given this particular data we will try to find out the first uh, performance matrix that is the accuracy accuracy is the overall uh, correctness of this particular model over here so that is equivalent to the total correct uh, predictions that is uh, the true negative plus uh, true positive divided by total number of uh, predictions over here so that is uh, true positive and true negative is equivalent to 45 plus uh, 95 over here divided by total number of examples are 150 and if you calculate this particular equation you will get a 93.33 percent over here that is the accuracy of this particular model in this case coming back to the next uh, performance matrix that is uh, the misclassification rate uh, the how often the classification was done wrong in this particular case that is uh, the total uh, misclassification divided by total number of examples that is this five examples are of type no and they were predicted as yes here that is the misclassification and uh, this particular five examples are of type yes but they were predicted as no here that is nothing but fn plus fp divided by total number of examples here that is 10 divided by 150 that is equivalent to 6.67 percent over here the next uh, performance matrix is uh, true positive rate that is nothing but uh, when a particular example is yes and how often that example is predicted as yes over here so in this case uh, the total yes examples are 100 and the total number of times it is predicted as uh, yes is 95 over here so this will be tp divided by actual yes examples over here that is 95 divided by 100 in this particular case so it is also called as uh, sensitivity or recall if I put those particular uh, values in this particular case, I will get 95% of uh, true positive rate or sensitivity or recall in this particular case. Coming back to the next one, that is uh, false positive rate. That is uh, when a particular example is no, how often it is predicted as yes over here. So uh, in this particular case, uh, five times a negative example is classified as yes over here that is nothing but 5 divided by 50 in this particular case that is fp that's a false positive divided by actual no in this case which is equivalent to 10 percent over here coming back to the next one that is a true negative that is uh, when a particular example is negative that is negative how often it is predicted as no here so in this case uh, it is predicted as uh, no in 45 examples out of 50 so that's the reason you can say that true negative is 45 divided by 50 that is equivalent to 90 and it is also called as specificity in this case the next uh, performance matrix is called as uh, precision this is nothing but uh, when it predicted as yes how often it is correct for example in this case 95% uh, of the time or 95 times uh, examples were classified as yes and uh, how often it is correct over here so that is nothing but the total number of uh, uh, yes predictions divided by uh, that is uh, number of times the example is uh, predicted as yes divided by total yes predictions over here that is tp divided by predicted yes over here that is uh, 95 divided by 100 again it is 95 percent over here 
and the last one is uh, something called as uh, prevalence that is nothing but how often does yes condition actually occur in our sample that is nothing but actual s divided by total number of examples actual s uh, is actual 95 and uh, actual s is actually 100 divided by total number of examples are 150 over here that is nothing but 66.67 percent over here the different performance metrics uh, we usually use in uh, machine learning model uh, to know the performance of that particular model uh, i have explained how to calculate these particular values with a simple example i hope this particular concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.